In this video, I cover a situation in which you need to manually configure your wp-config.php file. Now, this is a crucial file during your installation process. Here's one of the screens you'll get during the automated process. It's going to ask you for some information. As we saw in the creation of a database, you would have your database name, username, and password, and a couple of other things here as well. If you cannot create this automatically, and sometimes this happens, sometimes a server doesn't have permissions to do it or whatever it is, you can easily do it by manual means, and that's what we're covering here. So what we do is we get a file called wp-config-sample. Now this comes with your installation of WordPress, and all you do is you get it and make a copy of it. Now you have to do this in a text editor. You cannot do this in a word processing program like Word or anything like that. It must be in what's called a text editor. Now in Windows there's one built-in called Notepad. There are others like Notepad++ and so on. For the Mac there is BB Edit or Text Wrangler. Text Wrangler is a, a free simple version of BB Edit. TextMate does come with a Mac. You do have to be careful though because it can save in what's called rich text format, RTF. You do not want that. It has to be in text editor mode. So it's probably better to go and get Text Wrangler instead. Okay, so you've got your WP config sample. You save it as wp-config.php and then you'll start filling in the information. There's your database name, username, password, now, localhost, 99% of the time, this is what you'll need. Sometimes, however, your host may have a database in a different location. Usually, they're pretty clear about telling you that and giving you the address for the database, and you would put that in here. Now, there's something else you need to do in here. Again, this is done automatically if you're using the automated process, but manually, you want to put in some what are called secret keys here and these help secure WordPress and it shows you put in your unique phrase here now you could do your own phrases but they need to be particularly long and WordPress actually helps you by doing this you copy this URL we paste it in here and we go to there and it generates the keys for you okay and you can see these are massively long complex keys. The longer the better, the better the security. So we just copy that. We go back to here and we simply replace all of these with the keys we got. And we save it. Then database table prefix. Now this gives you a chance to add a little more security as well. This is a prefix that goes before any database tables that are created. And you can change this to anything you want and just make it something random other than WP and that'll add a bit of extra security. Once you do this you just upload it into the directory where you uploaded WordPress and then you're able to run your system. Again you've created your database already and WordPress will install at that point and that's as simple as it is to create your own WP config file. 